hello. Not sure how to start this off, but let's get to it. To start, I do have to state this. These messages are running on a battery-powered tape recorder, so don't worry about it stopping midway. I want to thank you for coming in to look at our paranormal problem with our animatronics. I'm very grateful that you're doing this. I'll explain more about what happened to Mara night as I am on a time crunch, but for now I'll give you the basics. First, I need to remind you of the legal mumbo jumbo, since this is an alleged haunted place that you're researching. Since you signed the quote-unquote, we're not responsible document, I'll paraphrase it again on the call. Ellie's LLC is not responsible for death or injury to you. We're also not responsible for damage to any property owned by you. Now, with that out of the way, we can talk about ghosts. Now, you're currently in our office, which we've turned into a paranormal center with cameras. Kind of cool, you know? You can flip into the cameras, and from there, you have windows. You can click around the map to go to different cameras, and you can also move the windows around to how you view fit. Plus, you can hire or show them. Pretty neat stuff. Oh, right. About those cameras, we're running everything on a single CPU, which can get overwhelmed easily. It's best not to stress the system out, as it'll crash if you overload it. You'll need to reboot the entire system if a crash happens, as whatever camera that went out is disabled unless you pull the reset lever on your left. It's near the desk, but don't pull it unless you absolutely need to, because it is a limited use tool, which I can assure you will work again after one use. It'll shut down the building's power and reboot the whole system, fixing whatever cameras are out. Still, it is a limited use tool, so don't abuse it. You can also turn off the main lights, and once they're out, you can flash the hall lights to see what's down them. Just try to keep the lights on as much as possible. It's not safe to leave them off for too long. Tonight you might see two of our cast members, Joe the Pirate and Hunter the Farmer. They're themed to be good examples. Joe is an example of why stealing is wrong, and Hunter promotes healthy eating. Now, if Joe comes into your office, he likes to go through the vent. Should he do that, you'll need to turn off the lights. Joe's eyes will light up red, and he'll start searching left and right for him, so you must turn on the lights when he stops moving his head, and he must be looking away from you with his eyes not lit up. If you wait too long or turn the lights on when his eyes are red, he'll spot you, and who knows what unspeakable things will happen. As for Hunter, he'll make his way down your office through the right side. Should he enter, he likes to be noisy, and you'll hear fast metallic footsteps. Once you hear them, turn off the lights, and as soon as the running stops, flash the hall lights as soon as possible. Alright, I'll leave you to it. Good night, and good luck. Oh hey, day two, good job. 
So, I saw some of the stuff on the cameras last night when I looked at them. Pretty strange, right? Now, I said I would speak more about this place and what happened since you're from out of town. And you probably don't know what really happened besides a few murmurs here and there. Back in 1983, we had an incident where a man in a blue suit came in. He shot two people, one being a young girl named Emma, and then himself. This incident hurt our reputation, but what did further damage was the claims of ghosts haunting this place. From shadow figures to footsteps to the animatronics acting strange, it made families too scared to come in. But we've been looking for help with this because it's really starting to hurt our business. Speaking of shadow figures, ever since that event we've had two of them. Still, the other one only comes out later when he, I guess, gets to know the people better. Still, the other one, which we think is the ghost of Emma, the child who was murdered here, if you do happen to see her, she seems to not like being looked at, as could be honest that is. You've noted looking at her scares her off, I guess? She's been spotted in the cameras, and your office as always, so like I said before, if you see her anywhere, either on the cameras or in the office, just look at her and she'll go away. Now since you've been here for a night, the ghosts, I think, are shy. But since you're going to be here for a week, they'll start coming out more, so be wary of that. Anyways, I'll talk to you later. Good night.
right here, huh? We thought you would have bailed on us by now. Well, since you're still here, I think you should be really getting the hang of it by now. So I won't talk as much. Just like I said last night though, the more you're around them, the more they'll move around. So you might be seeing our other mask god, Hallie the Cheetah. She's deemed as a sheriff, but she's a bit quirky if you ask me. She doesn't like being looked at or sudden actions, so try not to look at her if she's on the cameras or peeking in your office. Holly can also go down both hallways, so make sure you keep an eye on both of them. She's sneaky, but as I said, don't look at her and she'll go away. With that said, I'll let you go. Good luck.
So far you've been doing a great job. Today I'll watch more of the recordings you've provided since I've honestly been too scared to stay here since the incident. Some of the stuff on there is just, wow. I don't even know what to say. Anyways, do you by chance remember Austin the T-Rex? Yeah, it won't surprise me if you don't, but still, some do. And you might be asking where he is. He's currently in the office with you. You may or may not see him, I, I'm not sure. We had to get rid of him because he was damaged and it was too expensive to fix him, so we stowed him away in your office. Should have like known beforehand, but oh uh, well. He doesn't like the lights and he doesn't like holding still, so if he comes out, don't play dead, but shake back and forth. It seems to scare him. Well, I'm not entirely certain it's been recorded to work. Now, I'll get going to let you focus. See you tomorrow.
Not sure I'm making it to day five. You've been here for quite some time, so you might be able to see Ellie the nurse. She's teamed as a nurse to promote being safe and following doctor's orders. Now, she seems to get almost irritated if she's not being watched, so this is where the zoom function comes into play. For whatever godforsaken reason, she seems to be aware that she's being watched. But if you watch her with the zoom feature on, she gets less irritated. And after a while, she'll go back to the previous camera. If you ignore her though, she'll get closer to your office, camera by camera. It's essential to keep her as far away from you as possible, as she is a bit quirky. If she ends up at your office too many times, I really can't say what will happen to you. The first few times she does go there, turn off the lights and hold still, as she doesn't like moving. Well, sounds like you got a full plate tonight, so I'll let you go. Good luck, and good night.
don't have much to say tonight. Uh, all I really wanted to tell you is thank you for your assistance. We really appreciate all you've done for us and couldn't be more grateful. Tomorrow's the last day you'll be working with us. Uh, you'll be home free after. See you soon.
Hey, congratulations on making it to your final night here. Uh, I've got something to tell you which completely slipped my mind. So, the killer of Emma, uh, his name was Zach, committed suicide to avoid being caught by police, and ever since then, he's been stuck here as what looks like a shadowy man with a hat and glowing red eyes. So, we've dubbed him as the Hat Man. Now, listen closely to what I'm about to tell you, as it's vital to your survival. He has been a real problem lately, but we've noticed for some stupid reason, he likes to play games with people with the basic hive function. You can activate it through your camera system, and if you do have to see him in any of the cameras, try dragging the basic hive window over his eyes. It looks like it scares him off. Now, I have to get going, but if he shows up in your office, just flip the camera back up. It'll confuse him or something. With that, I wish you good luck, and thanks again for all your help. Hey, congratulations on making it to your final night here. Uh, I've got something to tell you which completely slipped my mind. So, the killer of Emma, uh, his name was Zach, committed suicide to avoid being caught by police, and ever since then, he's been stuck here as what looks like a shadowy man with a hat and glowing red eyes. So, we've dubbed him as the Hat Man. Now, listen closely to what I'm about to tell you, as it's vital to your survival. He has been a real problem with but we've noticed for some stupid reason he likes to play games with people with the basic hide function. You can activate it through your camera system, and if you do happen to see him in any of the cameras, try dragging the basic hide window over his eyes. It looks like it scares him off. Now, I have to get going, but if he shows up in your office, just flip the camera back up. It'll confuse him or something. With that, I wish you good luck, and thanks again for all your help.
From this investigation, we will continue to research what happened and why it happened. It's hurting our business from the rep for being a haunted place. Families don't want to come here because of it, but maybe we can turn that into a plus? Ellie's haunted house, maybe? Nah, I'm just pulling your leg. But something has got to be done. Spirits roam around from the tragic incident of 1983, but we've got to press forward. Whether if we close down, try to stay afloat and fight back, or convert into a haunted attraction, we don't know. But we do thank you for being with us for so long. It does mean a lot to us. Thank you. Uh, I'll let you go now, but before I do, I apologize for how long it took to set this investigation up. From numerous delays, I'm sure it's frustrating for you. I hope it was worth it. Thank you, and goodbye.